Yo, what is up guys? Back with another flipping video. Let's get right into it. Hello everyone. The deal I'm going to pick up right now is a PC for $500 and it consists of a Ryzen 5 1600 and a RX 5500 XT. Anyways, smash the like button, consider subscribing if you're new, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And you said it was just 500, right? Yeah, 500, yeah. Okay. That should be five. Perfect. Alright ladies, gents, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, dogs, cats, the PC is finally at my house and you see it works. If you guys didn't hear the last clip of all the specs, I'll do a brief breakdown of them right now. It's a Ryzen 5 1600, RX 5500 XT, 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig SSD, 2 terabyte hard drive, and this ugly case. We just ordered a new case on Amazon right now. While I wait for that to get here, I'm going to clean this thing down because it's super dusty. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh yeah, it also came with this Corsair keyboard. It's pretty dusty. And then this janky HP mouse. And the price of all this, $500. Basically the price of the GPU. Pretty stoked about it. While I wait for the case to get here off of Amazon, let's just do a quick dive into all the parts that are going into this build. Starting off with the motherboard, it's a B450M AC motherboard, which has an M.2 slot and Wi-Fi on board, which is pretty cool. Sitting in the motherboard socket is the CPU, the Ryzen 5 1600, the infamous 1600. It's a really solid six core 12 threaded processor, if you can get it for a solid price. Next thing on the motherboard is the RAM, Keyforce Dark Z RAM. We got a two by eight gigabyte kit, clocked at 3200 megahertz for 16 gigs. Honestly, I was not expecting to get this good of RAM in a build that I picked up on my Facebook marketplace. The next thing on the motherboard is the stock cooler that came with the Ryzen 5 1600, which does a pretty good job at keeping it cool, so I'm not going to replace it. And then for storage, we got a WD Blue 500 gigabyte SSD, and then a two terabyte hard drive. For the power supply, we got a real basic 400 watt power supply from Rosewill. And then the best part of the build, the RX 5500 XT 8GB model. I got this old PC for 500 bucks, and that's the price of these 5500 XTs on eBay right now. 500 and up. And then the case, like I said off Amazon, it's a Cooler Master case. I forgot the exact model, but it will be up on screen right now as long as a price breakdown with this build. Anyways, when the case finally gets here, it's been all day I've been waiting, but when it does get here, I'll pick up the camera and we'll build this thing. One eternity later.
Oh yeah, the build is finally done. Give it a listen. Now I'm pulling the whole PC with me. <laughs> okay, this one was a sticky one. I'm not very surprised, but it still looks amazing. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think of it. Anyways, let's test this thing out, and I actually have a buyer lined up already. We just tested that PC out. This is not it, as you can tell. This is another project that's in the works. But anyways, we tested it out in just Fortnite and Apex because I want to have a quick sell, and we ran a time spy. In Time Spy, we got a score of 4,935. In Fortnite and 1080p with pro settings, we got a 127 FPS average. And then in Apex 1080p with high settings, we got a 120 FPS average. And yeah, it looks like I still suck even with sound. Maybe I just suck when I'm not on my own computer, but who knows. but back to performance in games. The GPU and CPU stayed pretty damn cool. I didn't see it go over 65 degrees on the CPU or GPU, which is pretty good in my opinion. Keep in mind we did repaste the GPU and new thermal paste on the CPU and all the parts were clean. So give or take a few degrees if your parts are dirty or not. And if you are flipping PCs, clean your parts. You can charge more if you clean them. It'll just look way better so you have the reason to charge more. And back to when I said I had a buyer lined up, I'm gonna let you guys on a little secret, like the best tip I can probably ever give you until I come up with some more tips. But that tip is, when you sell a PC and someone messages you but you've already sold it, just tell them, yo, I build and sell PCs, we can work something out together, instead of just telling them, no, it's not available. Try to bring them in as like a client. That's what I did with this one. In my flipping challenge, someone messaged me about a PC right when it sold it. I'm like, yo, sorry, I just sold it, but I actually build and sell computers. We can work something out and they want a PC. So yeah, they're gonna pick it up after I get off work tomorrow for 900 bucks. But anyways, I do work tomorrow, so I don't know. That sucks, I guess. I can't just work on other PCs. But I work 12.30 to 8.30 and I'll see you guys later when I sell this thing. Do you do a lot of these? Yeah, do you? Can see. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, so there's the Ryzen 5 1600 and the 16 gigs of RAM and the RX 5500 XT. It's the 8 gigabyte model one. Yeah. Alright. I'm surprised you got an RTX 3070. Yeah, 3070 and a Ryzen 9 3900 XT. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> Holy shit. This guy took forever to get here. It's like pretty late right now. I was busy in the bedroom, you know? We got 900 cash. Sorry for the bad camera angle. First off, I just want to say sorry. My camera was out of focus. Oh my god, that got me so mad. I wish I could call them back in to redo that clip. But I'm sorry that I was out of focus. Drop a like and comment down below saying it's all right. So I feel better. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk about those profits. So the PC itself was $500. We picked up the case for $69.70 off of Amazon. That was with tax and everything. So the total cost was $569.70. We sold it for 900, giving us a profit of $330.30. So pretty quick turnover, pretty high profit. Honestly, one of the easiest flips that I've done in a while. All I did was case swap it. I didn't have to add an SSD or anything like that. Not even RGB. RGB came with the case, you know, pretty good Cooler Master case. Links are in the description. Also, links for everything I use for flipping, like cheap SSDs, uh, some cheap budget cases, my electric screwdriver, the screw organizer, just anything I use. Links are for it in the description. Please use my link. I want to eat some dinner tonight, hopefully. So please use the link. It helps me out a lot. Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. Just use the link for anything you buy off Amazon, and it helps me. I appreciate it if you guys do that. Anyways, drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.